afternoon. Thank you very much for having us today. Uh, we are representing Live Bend. Um, and today I'm going to be sharing my screenshot that they got. Coming to Uber, they saw on the screen that drivers were diverting and they were not picking their customers. And on further probing, they found out that most of the drivers needed cash to pay for fuel. And this enabled them to make decisions that made their business more effective in West Africa and Nigeria. So now you, you may also want to know how does Uber relate to, relate to construction or to real estate industry. So I'm going to take you through that. So my name is Ugochi Ugojekwe. I'm the head business development for Live Vent. Um, I, help, I help construction and real estate developers to make smarter decisions um, using technology. And um, today I'm going to be telling us how we can use technology to actually make our lives a lot easier, a lot easier uh, and simpler really. And there are just three things and three ways we can do this. And these three ways really is one, you can, you can sell smarter with technology. You can sell your real estate properties wherever they are, whether it's Abuja, Port Harcourt, all over the country. You can do that with data. You can sell smarter with data. You can also um, you can also build more effectively with information from your data as well, and you can procure you can make your procurement easier. So with this, now I'm going to introduce my colleague Stephanie for her to carry on with this presentation. She's going to break it down by telling us how the risks that are faced in construction um, can be minimized using technology. Hello, Stephanie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Gochi. Um, so if you stop sharing your screen, I can then share mine. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you for that introduction, Gochi. And let me, awesome. Okay, let's share. Great. Okay, so um, I'm going to take over from Uguchi and I'm going to start by talking to us um, about the burden of risk for construction project owners, right? And Okay, yes. So the first, you know, thing to note here is when we talk about body, burden of risk faced by construction project owners is the fact that, you know, while there are multiple stakeholders on any construction project, you know, the burden of risk ultimately falls on the project owner. And so the project owner must, you know, face and meet all challenges head on to ensure delivery of a top quality, safe and profitable project. And as well, the, you know, most situations we find that the project owner is often the only non-technical construction professional involved, and therefore they must understand their responsibilities, such as project financing, site surveys, warranting plans and specifications, warranting furnished materials, you know, um, acting on clarifications and changes, interpreting documents, hiring and cooperating with contractors, as well as selling the finished projects, which Gucci mentioned. But Ultimately, they must assume all financial responsibility for the success of the entire project. So with these risks, you know, they're now, you know, there's common challenges that you are faced with as a result of these risks. And what are some of these challenges that, you know, if you're in the sector, you will be familiar with? The first one really is difficulty with oversight and transparency. And, you know, there are you're making a big investment as a project owner and there's so many st stakeholders with different agendas if we can say that but as the project owner you want to be able to oversee what's going on and so that's one of the things that makes um, oversight and transparency difficult because there's so many moving parts the next common challenge you'd face as a project owner is incomplete, incorrect, or fragmented documentation. And what I mean by this point is really the fact that, you know, at the end of it, especially if you're building commercial uh, property, at the end of it, you want to be able to know everything that has gone on with this project, how much was spent, any issues that, you know, just the full data involved. But sometimes, depending on how 
the project is ongoing and any challenges faced, the documentation that is handed over at the end of the project could be incomplete, incorrect, or fragmented, okay? Then another challenge that is common is, you know, delays that slow down construction completion. And that could be for a variety of reasons that, you know, that cause that kind of delay. The other challenge as well that I'd like to share is time and cost. It leads to things like um, reduced quality of work. So the finished product, the quality might not be as great as intended. You know, poor cash flow because you're not selling as fast, especially where there's delays. And also uh, delayed revenues as well, because if the project isn't completed or there's issues, it affects selling and affects revenues, especially if you're in commercial sector for real estate. And lastly, it could lead to negative PR for the project owner or their company. So with all of this, what is the solution? Okay, how do we then solve? We've, we've just talked about, you know, the challenges faced, the risks. So what is the solution? And the solution really is in having, you know, or using a digital construction monitoring platform. Now, there are many benefits of using such a platform, especially, you know, we've been, as, as my colleague led with Uber, and there's, it's the story around getting technology more involved in these processes. And so having a digital construction monitoring platform of some sort means that, you know, there are many benefits that exist and will help to protect the owner's investment, especially from an efficiency point of view, you know, which means a few things will happen. One, speed is greatly increased. Two, problems and cost overruns are greatly minimized. And everyone on the job is also held to greater accounts for the quality of their work. But the greatest benefit of using you know, a digital construction monitoring platform is that of oversight. Because you would have you know, a centralized depository for all the data that has got, you know, that um, comes out of this project. And as an owner, you can, or a manager, you can easily keep track of project progress in real time. You can ensure that deadlines are being hit. You can ensure that quality is assured and costs are not running above planned levels. It also will eliminate any cumbersome paper storage as all information is stored in a cloud, as it's called. So just to conclude, I'd like to introduce you to LiveVend and you know what LiveVend is. So LiveVend really is a product ecosystem, um, it, meaning we've got several products that are technology solutions that are focused on project monitoring as well as easing the procurement process. So I'm just going to share some screenshots and just this is showing you um, one of our products, LiveVend Pro, which is the main project monitoring app. You can, when you log in, we would assign based on your project, your company, you'd have your details, your account to be set up. And I'm going to share some screenshots, some more screenshots that just give insight into what the app looks like. Okay, so these are the screenshots. And so it just shows inside. So if you have a new project, you would put your project in, you would pick whether it's residential or commercial, you know, it would have your name, it, and it would show your budgets, you know, that you have for your project. And then um, this previous screen you've seen before, which is you can always log in. So multiple people, you can give multiple people access that need to have access, such as maybe if you know, uh, two or more entities or people are the owners of a project. Then there's also the angle where um, we also provide what we call site information officers to go alongside with this project. So they are keeping, they're helping to record all the data. So when um, material is procured, it's logged in there. Whatever requests are made is logged in there. How money is being spent, it's all logged in there. So at any point in time, you can open up the app and understand how far your project is progressing. So with that, I'm going to, oh, just a few more, sorry, a few more screenshots. So you can see here, this photo is showing you, you know, the project budget is showing how much is being spent in terms of, you know, the percentage and the amounts, the date it started, you know, the tasks, how it's being completed. So even your inventory manager as well um, can use this to, to put, to record rather the inventory that's being used and ordered and used. So it's got a variety of uses really. And um, 
we don't want to push it too much. So of course we can always, you can always get in contact with us to find out a bit more about how this works, but it's just managers because you want your project to be profitable at the end of the day. These, the, you know, like digital monitoring platforms like LiveVend really make a difference. And for future projects as well, the decision-making would be much easier because you have data to work with. So that's really it from us. Um, I, I would just invite Ubi to. Um, so um, thank you, everybody. Um, just like Uber utilized data intelligence to revolutionize, to make their business processes, you know, more effective. You all can use um, you all can use data and technology to make your businesses grow and scale, which means you can. You can have your projects in wherever, Abuja, Lagos, across Africa, and with technology, you can just scale your business.